Hello students, this is lesson seven, multiplication and division in word problems, and we're gonna be working on session one today. First of all, um, pages 119 and pages 120, those two pages you should read over with your family. And then students, we are going to be on page 121. So go ahead and turn your math book to page 121. You are also going to want your index card of how we solve word problems because that is going to help you out here. All right, so our question here is, Hannah scored three goals last season. She scored four times as many goals this season. How many goals does Hannah score this season? So of course, our first question is, what is this problem about? Um, this problem is about the number of goals that Hannah is scoring um, last season and this season. So we're talking about a soccer game and about goals being scored last year and this year. What information is important? Well, it's important to know that she scored three goals last season. It's also important to know that she scored four times as many goals this season. Um, and then what am I trying to find out? I'm trying to find out how many goals does Hannah score this season? And my last question is, can I draw a model to solve this? And the answer is yes. So I'm going to give you a couple of different examples for how this model should look um, because we are getting to a little bit different things here. So our first model is our typical one that we did in our lesson six videos where we start off with one box that tells us Hannah scored three goals. So originally she scored three goals last time. Anytime we see where it says times as many at the end of the prob at the end after the word is how many boxes we're gonna draw. So because this says four times as many, that tells us we are going to draw four boxes. And then this three is going to go in each box. Now, um, with this unit, we're talking about word problems. And in word problems, there is going to be something called an unknown. So anytime you see this question mark, that's like saying this is an unknown. We do not know the answer that goes here. So we are going to have to find the answer. So it's called, I'm going to write it down here, it's called an unknown. And it's something about a problem we don't know, but we need to find out. Well, one way we could solve this is we could do 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. And that's repeated addition. And that's kind of like what we see here. And we know that if we add those together, we get, or we can skip count, 3, 6, 9, and 12 would be our answer. So Hannah scored 12 goals this season. Another way that we could solve this problem is by making an array. So if you are not comfortable solving problems like this, another way you can do it is you can say, okay, we know that Hannah scored three this season, but she scored four times as many, or she scored three last season, but she scored four times as many this season. So there's one, two, three, four times as many, and then you can count those, or you can write a multiplication problem, and either way, you still get to the answer of 12 goals. So, um, go ahead and turn to page 122. It says, explain how you could find how many goals Hannah scores this season. Well, we just did it. Um, we can draw a picture. Or a bar model. 
Now it says look ahead. Often, you often need to find an unknown number, there's that unknown number, in comparison problems. Suppose you want to solve this problem below. Hannah's team won five games last season. So it says they won five games last season. So we'll put that here and it says last season. And four times as many games this season. So here's this season and they won four times as many. So five is going to go in each of these boxes also. Complete the equation that shows the problem and matches the bar model. So right here is how, is how many times as many. Okay, so they're having us do it backwards right here. So right here we're gonna write four because they have the times as many in the front this time. And over here, we have the number of games won last season, five. So then now we have an unknown. We do not know the answer, but we have all the information we need to find out the answer. So it tells us you can use a question mark as a symbol to stand for the unknown. What is the unknown number in the problem? Explain how this number answers the question. So the unknown is 20, and we know this because it shows the total number of games one. And then down here it says, how does the bar model in problem two show four times as many? Well, it shows four times as many because it has um, one box for games one last season, four boxes or four times as many for this season. And that's how you know. Okay, now we're gonna turn over to page 123. And on 123, we're gonna talk a little bit more about this word unknown. So first of all, an unknown in my own words is an unknown is a missing number in an equation. An equation is just a fancy way to say problem. So we have two important vocabulary words here, unknown and equation. So my illustration, I can do a five and then let's do three more fives here and then I can do my fancy little thing and use a question mark. So three times five equals question mark would be my illustration. And an example can be eight times two equals, I don't know, or that sometimes they do it like this, four times five equals, and they will use a box to represent an unknown. And sometimes the unknown is in the front, and then it'll say equals three times seven. So they use this way to show unknown several different methods. These are not examples. Five times six. There's no equal sign, there's no, no question, there's no box to represent something that's unknown. Um, two times 10 equals 20. That is not an example because it gives us the answer or let's do four plus four plus four equals 12. Again, this is not an example because it gives us our answer. All right, number two, how does the bar model at the right show five times as many? Write an equation with an unknown to match the bar model. So the way we know is there is one box 
four wins, then there are five boxes or five times as many boxes that show losses. So our equation here would be five times two equals question mark. And that would be our unknown. And that's all you have to do on that one. Turn the page to number three. Okay, Joseph picked six flowers today. He picked three times as many flowers yesterday. How many flowers did Joseph pick yesterday? So if we use our card here, what is this problem about? It's about Joseph picking flowers today and yesterday. So we're talking about Joseph picking flowers. Okay, um, what information is important? Six flowers today is important. Three times as many flowers yesterday is also important. And then how many flowers did Joseph pick yesterday is what I am trying to find out. Okay. The light's going a little crazy. There we go. All right. So because this one is by itself, it does not have that times as many, it is going to be our number that is going to be in our single box. And then over here where it has three times as many, that tells us how many boxes that we need. So we need three boxes with six in each box. And then our unknown is the total here. So if we have three times six equals we don't know, we hopefully know our multiplication facts because three times six equals 18. So Joseph picked 18 flowers yesterday. Okay. Another way that we could show our work is with um, with the circles like we did before. So we could have six flowers for today and then we can do it three times for the next day. So again it shows us six flowers in each row and six flowers three times equals 18 flowers. That is it for session one. Now you need to watch um, lesson seven, session two, and session, and continue on.